on Press Record and my name's Kai. And I'm Kate and today we're talking to Daniel E. Kendall. I wanted to start off by congratulating you on your new EP, Talk the Night Away. How do you think it's been received? Um, yeah, it's, it's been good. I, I don't actually know, but um, I've, it's been... I've, what am I saying? <laughs> yeah, no, it's been good. Like, the, the songs have gone okay and I've enjoyed playing them live, so yeah. Well, um, let's talk about the song you just um, played before, My Love To Be. Now, the film clip for that was quite interesting. Um, do you nearly, like, choke to death with all that paint over you? <laughs> I, no, I didn't, but I couldn't taste my Red Rock uh, Deli salt, sea salt chips afterwards, though, which is a bit of a shame. <laughs> can't, be, can't be a good sign. No, no, but... Um, it was kind of cool once the actual because I was I was in like a little white canvas was in my head and once I took it off I kind of I looked like a character out of the Mighty Boosh which I was <laughs> proud to. Proud How did you come up with the concept for the film clip? Like, what went through your head and thought, yeah, this will be a good idea for people to chuck paint over my face and paint around me and stuff like that. I had a, I spent a half day. I went to a cafe and was sort of pondering ideas and. Nothing was coming to me, and I came back to the, my house and made myself some oats, and I was pouring my honey on my oats, and that's sort of what triggered the little spark of inspiration. And that's how it all went from there. Something I was quite interested in is how you do everything yourself, like the writing and recording. Do you think that you'll ever consider collaborating with anyone or being part of a band in the future? Yeah, I like the idea of collaborating, and the working out of it just doesn't seem to work for me as of yet. It's sort of that's what's got it going for me is doing it by myself. But definitely, um, I reckon there'd be so much more to learn from other people and collab and by collaborating. So yeah, I wouldn't close my mind off at this stage. But I'd definitely be open to it in the future. But it just sort of seems to be working. Have you ever played in a band in the past? Yeah, like I, first I was a little indie rocker back in Year Twelve. Oh. Like, my aim of the gig was to try and wear everything green, so I had my green guitar with my green jeans and my green t-shirt. It was good. What made you change? Um, I, I kind of like the, uh, the live sort of thing didn't, didn't do a whole lot for me in all the sort of the hype and all the rocky bands and to see Angst and Julia live. Um, yeah, that really grabs me. I, I felt like I could do a career of that. If I was to, if I was to pursue music, I, at the time I wasn't thinking, um, I wasn't sure if I was even going to pursue music, and seeing that sort of inspired me to. Um, it, it showed me a different avenue of, of the way I could do music, and, and that's what I, yeah, it, it, something clicked in me. It must be incredibly overwhelming, though, to know that you're going out and playing to a room full of people who are focusing sort of entirely on you without having that support from a band behind you. How daunting is it to go and play? Yeah, sometimes go and play? I question maybe I should just walk out naked and just <laughs> and dance for five minutes straight, but it often feels like that. <laughs> um, it's been good for me though because it definitely stretches you as a singer and, a, and a, um, it really tests the songs in their raw form as well. So um, It can be daunting but I, I quite enjoy the challenge now. Well, do you have any rituals or any, you know, before um, show habits that you do to pump yourself up before a show? Yeah, I'm gonna eat, um, try and eat like, about 20 litres of jelly before I go on stage. What? Um, <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, how do you sit on the tour? Like, shit. Yeah, no, I'm not a ritual kind of person. Uh, yeah, not maybe in the future, but. Right now, no. So, what can we expect from you um, after this EP? Like, you've released two EPs in the last year. Um, when can we expect the full length? Hopefully, early next year. Um, I've got about um, I've got about forty odd songs yeah. on top of the EPs at the moment. So, I'm all, I'm continually writing as much as I can, and um, we're just trying to figure out the best way to go about it and, and uh, the best songs to use. So yeah, uh, I th you could definitely expect an album within a year or so, I reckon. Well, where do you get your inspiration for all these songs? Like, 40 songs, 
plus you know all the ones you've recorded so far that's quite a lot of music for just one person to pump out like what makes you write so much i don't know it's just life sometimes i'll do it go a month without anything sometimes you know the, the faintest little ideals trigger off a trigger off inspiration and it can, it can happen anywhere and about anything you know, so I, I don't yeah, I just let it come to me, and if it comes, I, I run with it. Would you say that it's often more from your own personal experiences that you get inspired, or from sort of looking at the world around you and things happening? Yeah, definitely. It's usually, if it's not about me, it's probably affected me in some way. Um, you know, it might be a friend, but something happened to them, and so I'm, you know, seeing from outsiders' perspective. But often, it, um, yeah, definitely is. It's. It's made, it's triggered some sort of emotion in me somehow, and that's where it stems from. Yeah. Well, Daniel, thank you very much for joining us today. And um, just to finish up, what can we expect from your show tonight in such a small venue? Like, what Rix is, like, pretty much there's you, and then there's the crowd of people well, right there I've in front actually, of you. I've actually got um, a, a group of 20 dancers behind me tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they've got. Um, Burlesque dances, I yeah, heard. Yeah, burlesque good. dances, and then, and then by the end of the show, I sort of end up dressing what they're mm. dressing as well, and it gets pretty wild. See, I don't even know if you're bullshitting or telling me the truth at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> you just threw me off with you know the twenty liters of jelly. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, it's um, yeah, it gets it will get pretty wild. No, it's just me and my guitar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> me telling me telling some stuff. Come on, Daniel, tell the truth. <laughs> Cool, well, we're really looking forward yeah. to it. So thanks so much for chatting with us. Yeah, yeah. and you're watching Press Record. Cool. Awesome, mate. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. Cheers.